All right, so I want to do an experiment with the Tesla Model 3. So when I drive around, I see some Tesla Model 3s with the aero covers on the wheels and see some take off their aero covers on the wheels. And a lot of people say that removing the aero covers on the wheels takes a lot of range from the battery. Some people say it doesn't take that much. And I want to know how much range do you really lose by taking off the aero covers on your Tesla Model So as you might know, you can take off these aero covers from the Tesla Model 3 and you can have a nice wheel that looks like this. You can also put a little cover here in order to hide this hole and you can make it look very nice with Tesla logos around here. But people prefer this look for the rims. I personally prefer the aero covers to be on but a lot of people prefer this look and they believe that with this look it looks a lot better on the road but you can also lose a lot of range by removing the aero covers a lot of range we don't know what a lot of range means but we can test it out today and figure out how much range are we really losing by removing these covers so we're gonna put these back and we're gonna go inside the car restart the trip computer and then from there we are going to see how much range we're gonna be using so if you go on trips we can go here, we can put arrow, and then we can reset the arrow trip. So boom, so now we have zero kilometers, zero kilowatts, and zero watt hour per kilometer. So we are going to go around, drive around on the highway, do a nice, a nice loop, come back here, see how much range we've used and how much uh, our average energy use per kilo kilometer and then from there we're gonna do the same thing again but we're gonna remove the arrow wheels take the same route and see the difference with the consumption with the average one hour per kilometer before we start the test I might get some Starbucks then I'm gonna come back here do the test and do a nice two-time loop to see the average consumption I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit darker because I know there's going to be a lot of traffic and I want to do it without any traffic. So I want to make sure that we can do it uh, properly without messing up. So we'll take a break, go to Starbucks and then from there we start. Right, so we got the Starbucks and now we're just going to have to wait and hopefully the traffic dies down. We'll go on the highway, test the efficiency of the arrow wheels, come back, do the same thing without the arrow wheels and see what the efficiency is. All right, so for the test, We'll just reset the trip again because I did go to Starbucks three kilometers, reset that. And then from there, for the air conditioning, we'll put it at 20 and we'll make sure it's automatic and low and we'll keep it that way for uh, both tests, both runs. So we'll go on the first run, see how much efficiency we can get with the aero wheels and do the same thing without not the air. mention for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna go over 115 uh, kilometers per hour. I'm gonna try maybe stay at 110, put it on autopilot, let it cruise. And then from there, we'll be able to see what the actual uh, consumption is. We'll do a loop, go back to the Starbucks. We'll stop at the same point for the arrow and non arrow uh, test. But yeah, we're gonna go to max 110, go on autopilot and let it cruise. One thing I forgot to mention, we are on chill mode, so it's gonna be as efficient as possible. We're halfway through the test for the arrows, so we're going back to the uh, to the starting points, and we're at 145 watt, hour, watt hours per kilometer. We did 20 kilometers, and it's gonna take us about seven kilometers to get back to where we were. So first, uh, first trip for, with the arrows is very efficient especially if you stay around the 110 120 kilometers uh, per hour so yeah very very good and so far 
is very low. So 145 watt hours per kilometer is extremely efficient, more efficient than I thought was going to be. Um, but we're going to have to see if there's really a difference with the arrow. So once we get back, we'll reset all the trips. And then from there, we'll see which one is more efficient. So we finished everything. Now let's look at the actual trip consumption. So 132 watt hours per kilometer. We drove between 100 kilometers an hour and 120 kilometers an hour. So we stayed between those ranges. We did go on chill mode. We did use regen and on 27 kilometers, we did 132 watt hours per kilometer. So this is very, very efficient with the aero reels. And now we're going to do the same trip without the arrow wheels and see what the consumption actually is. I'm expecting it to be higher. So it's going to be probably around 150 um, watt hours per kilometer. But let's see if we're going to have the same thing. We're just going to reset this. Just going to make sure that we take into note 132 watt hours per kilometer for kilowatts and 27 kilometers. So now let's reset the trip. So the trip has been re uh, trip trip has been reset. So now we're going to change this to no arrows, no arrow, and then you save it. So now we're going to see how much we're going to use doing the same trip without the arrow wheels. All right. So the arrow wheels are off on the rear and the front wheels. So right now. We can go on the second trip and see what the consumption is. So we did put the wheels inside the trunk here. And yeah, so we're going to do the same trip and see what the actual consumption is. Like I said, I'm expecting it to be 150 watt hours per kilometer doing the same trip, going around 27 kilometers, probably going to use around five kilowatt hours. But let's go on the trip and see what we get. So again, we are on chill mode and we have the trip reset we're gonna go on a trip the climate is on auto on low 20 uh, degrees celsius so let's start a trip everything is ready stay between 110 and 120 kilometers per hour and yeah let's go So we did the same trip without the arrow wheels and I'm going to show you guys the efficiency and show you guys the difference. So if we look here, the efficiency with no arrow, it was 140. So we did one kilometer less, same about, same amount of kilowatt hours. So you don't really lose that much efficiency without the arrow wheels. You do lose some, but not too much. So honestly, if you prefer the, the look of without the arrow covers, then obviously you're not going to lose that much efficiency but if you like the look with the uh with the uh arrow covers you're going to have a little bit more efficiency so you're going to have a lot more range um overall but yeah if you like to take off the arrow covers you're not going to see that much of a difference you're going to be good you don't have to worry about efficiency maybe in the winter it might be different i might have to do a second test because in the winter it's going to be colder you're going to use more energy so the difference might be bigger but for now the difference in the in the summer is pretty much the same we did exactly the same loop so yeah it should be um, pretty similar you're not gonna see that much of a difference so let me know what's better to have the arrow wheels on the tesla model 3 or should you remove it to have that better look if you like it and lose a little bit of efficiency i do want to get those uber turbine wheels that i still haven't gotten yet but when i do get them i will test out the efficiency with the arrow covers without the arrow covers and the uber turbine wheels so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys on the next video